Hey there, fellow guitar people. For years, I've been telling my students that they had to cut their nails if they want to play guitar. But then I thought, is that really true? Sure, I get a little uncomfortable if my nails get a little long and they hit the fretboard of my guitar. But does that mean you can't play guitar? I decided to put it to the test. You're going to like this. Let's do this. Now, just to be clear, we're talking the left hand. The right hand is a whole nother issue and maybe a subject for another video. I trim my nails on the left hand regularly and I keep them pretty short. But I have seen artists who seem to have very long nails and play guitar. But I'm still skeptical. I've decided to test it out. Take a trip with me to the local 99 cent store where I'm going to pick up a set of fake nails. We're going to see how well this really works. Can you show again? Okay, we're ready. We've got design nails. <laughs> Pretty fancy for playing guitar, but this is an experiment, so let's go with it. Okay, let's see how easy these are to put on. Let's see, okay. We've got a little bag. And let's see, mm. Oh my God, too fancy. And we're going to stick these on one at a time. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so take the tab off here. And let's put it on the nail. Other way around. <laughs> Easier said than done. Okay, so I've got the sticky thing on there. That didn't work. Let's try it the other way around. Put it on the nail first and then pull the paper off. Hmm. Not so easy. Maybe you have to have nails to put on nails. Okay, we did it. We got long nails. Can you see those? Some pretty fancy nails. You know, I, I don't see how you can do a lot with these nails. I guess I could scratch a bit. But other than that, I don't, anyway, I'm sure you get used to it if you're wearing nails all the time, but that's not something I normally do. So let's see how this works on the guitar. So we're going to try and make a G chord. No, not a chance. You know what? I can make a G bass note. <laughs> Nail just fell off. <laughs> But I can't really press down any of the other fingers. Okay, now these are pretty long, so I'm going to go ahead and trim them a bit and see if we cut them down a little bit if they're going to work. Okay, we've got my trusty Dale clippers. Okay, we've got what I'll call medium nails. Can you see that? Uh, they're quite a bit shorter than they started out, but let's see how they work with the guitar. Okay. So we're going to try that G chord again. <laughs> try a basic G chord. Okay, I can, I can do the sixth string. Yeah. Uh, with the medium nails, I can do the fifth string. But I can't. Okay, <laughs> I made a G chord. Uh, hard, but I can do it. Okay, so I will say, let's try an A chord. I can do an A chord. Almost do a deep. I can't quite. And let's try a C chord. I can get that fifth string, 
but I can't get the angle with the first finger. Okay. So it seems like I could play guitar with nails about this long. You see that? Now, I think you'd call these short for fake nails, but maybe medium for regular nails. But it was difficult and <laughs> more difficult than I wanted to be. Now, I do realize that if you're used to using fake nails or long nails, that you might be better adept at moving around and doing things with the nails because you're used to it. I'm not. And let's face it, learning to play guitar is not easy even with short nails. It takes practice, patience, and doing the same thing over and over till you get it just right. So, I don't know. It seems like... Not that you can't play with nails, but it might be a good choice to shorten them at least for a period of time till you start getting the hang of guitar and then see how long your nails can grow again if that's something you really like. Thanks for joining me. I'm Thomas Michaud from Real Guitar Success. I look forward to seeing you again, hopefully very soon. Bye for now.